All right, so now that you have your photos in uh, the order that you want and cropped if you need to crop any, you can then go to step two. So I'm going to click on the next button at the bottom and it takes us to the second step. Look here at the top, it says add a title to your pictures. So if a, if a picture does need a title, you can do that here. Um, here you'll see a, a text box where you can add a title. So I'm going to put a title here for this uh, photo. I'm going to call it uh, Shuttle Launch. Uh, and we'll pretend this launch happened in 2004. So there is a title. Now, uh, you have options with the title. For example, with these buttons, you can send the title over to the left, put it in the middle, or send it over to the right. I'm going to put it back to the middle. Or you can send the uh, title up to the top, or back to the middle, or you can put the, sh uh, the title down to the bottom. So those are your options. I'm going to put this title up at the top. But you can also choose your font, your font color, and your font size. So you see this A um, button with an A on it. I'm going to click on that and it brings up a font dialog box. I'm going to go toward the top and I'm going to pick Arial, Arial um, Bold, if I can here, Arial Black. Okay, and then I'm going to, now this sample will give you an example of the size. I could make it larger, larger still or smaller. I'm going to leave it on 16. And you can also pick the color of the font. I'm going to, just for contrast, I'll go to white and we'll see what that looks like. I'm going to click on OK. And now we have Shuttle Launch 2004 and bold white uh, font. Uh, you can leave it there. Uh, let me try it again in black, see what it looks like in black. There we go. I think I'll leave it just like that. Okay, now you also have other um, options than just the title. You can put artistic effect on any of the slides that you want. For example, um, here you have a little drop down box. Click on the arrow and you can see all these different uh, artistic effects. For example, if I wanted this photo to go to black and white, I'd pick black and white, and now there's no color there. If I want to try a colored pencil, I can click that, and now it looks like a colored pencil drawing. Let me try something else here, a diffused glow, and that, that's a very artistic uh, uh, photographic imaging uh, effect. Let me just try one more for you. I'm going to try watercolor. And doesn't that look nice? So you can, you can on step two, you can add titles. And if you want to, you can change the artistic look of any of the photos. I'll bring this back to none. And uh, now you can go on to step three by clicking on the next button. We'll do that. Okay.